scattered showers and a few thunderstorms showing up to the northwest, the northeast, and the central parts of the state. All right, nothing real, real strong out there, but uh, just like yesterday afternoon, we could see some of these storms, especially in the northeast, kind of get stronger and maybe even go severe. Now, a closer look there from Taos to Question, that's starting to come off the mountains, the San de Cristos, and what's left from this morning where they had some pretty good rains around Raton into southeastern Colorado as well, and uh, Clayton and Roy also reported some showers. And then east of Santa Fe, there's also some pretty good storms, and then off the Sacramento Mountains further south. And to the west of the metro, we're starting to see a little bit of action going there that extends into the Hemis. All popcorn, hit and miss showers and storms, but they are going to be around through the day, and we still could see one or two drift through central New Mexico as we go through the afternoon and evening. 78 outside, so the temperatures are warming nicely, some light winds, 76 in Santa Fe, 85 in Roswell, and already near 90 in Carlsbad, heading toward some 90s as we go through the day, about 96 or so for their high eventually. Some low 80s in the southwest for the most part, and back in the west, four corners, we're talking temperatures in the 70s right now. So the forecast, as I see it for the rest of the day, about 84 for our high here in the metro, partly cloudy skies until late, and then we're going to start to see, again, some isolated showers or storms around. If you missed out on yesterday's batch, you get another chance today. Remember, there'll be some gusty winds associated with that. Canyon winds are going to be very strong tonight because of that front that's coming along the eastern half of the state. It's going to blow back through the canyon, so expect that. And then because of that, it ushers in slightly cooler air, so highs tomorrow only in the low 80s. And you could see a spot shower around early tomorrow as well. Now, the bigger storm, here's the upper level. It'll sit right there. You can see it spinning. It's moving on off into the plains, so it's going to bring a lot of severe weather uh, across uh, places like eastern Colorado into Kansas, Nebraska, and, and probably Oklahoma as well, and then it sweeps on off to the east. Now, the picture is this. Right now, this is the upper level low that's moving on out. So once it lifts out, that front's going to drop in for the re across the rest of the eastern part of the state tonight. So as that happens, first, it's not only going to bring the showers and the thunderstorms that we're already starting to see, but then it's going to start to drive them back along the mountains from the San Cristos all the way down to the East Mountains and down to the Sacramentos. The canyon winds are going to go for us here tonight, and then after that, Thursday and Friday, we'll dry out a little bit. We'll heat up because of that and that high pressure. So again, nationally, if you're traveling today, you have storms uh, right now near Chicago, between Chicago and Atlanta, and funneling into New York, and then from Dallas back towards L.A., nothing going on. Phoenix included Albuquerque here at this point, but I expect some down around San Antonio and in the Houston area as we go through the latter parts of today. All right, here's your seven-day outlooks. Temperature just holding in the 70s and 80s for the next few days, and then it warms up a little bit, even for Santa Fe. For Albuquerque, mid-80s today, canyon winds bringing in slightly cooler air tonight, 81 for the high for your Wednesday, and then upper 80s to finish out the work week. Sure have enjoyed this weather, though, the last it's, couple of it's weeks. It's a really great time of the year. Yeah, right? it sure is. Then the monsoons kick in. All right, very good. Thank you, Mike. All right.